Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial. David is my name and compliments of the season. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Power Query to filter multiple columns at once. So let's dive in. We have this sys data set and it has been formatted as an Excel table. And we have the columns for account manager, records for 2016, 17 to year 2021. If you look at each of the columns, you discover that we have alpha and beta. So what we want to do is to get this data set into the Power Query, write a simple M code that filter out every row that contains alpha or beta. So let's dive in. Now, having formatted this data as an Excel table, let's come to the data tab and click on from table slash range. So this open the Power Query. Where we can write our M code. All right, so we have each of the columns 16, 2017, 2018, and so on. So, what I'm going to do is let's assume we want to actually filter the columns one after the other. So, you can actually just click on the filter and scroll down, uncheck better, and click OK. So, that will be normal. However, we want to do it at once. So, I'm going to delete this filtered rows step so we have it back the same way we get it into the power query so what i'm going to do is come to the add column and under the general click on custom column now in the custom column we can provide a name for the new column but that's not going to be necessary but we just want to focus on the custom column formula now in this case i'm going to use m function called list dot contains contains any okay okay so it is list that contains any not tables okay so i'm going to open the parentheses now let's see what it does it indicates where a list includes any of the values in another list so we have the list as list to supply and values as list now for this i'm going to need a curly bracket and then i'm going to give each of the columns 16 2016 to 2021 so let's start i'm going to click on 2016 put in a comma 2017 put in a comma 2018 comma 2019 2020 and finally year 2021 okay so we can close up the curly brackets and put in a comma now for the second argument which is values as list i need another curly bracket. now in this case the two keywords are alpha and beta so i'm going to put that inside double quotation with a comma to separate them so double quotes anyone can come first okay either alpha or beta then put another double quotes then we'll type in beta and then we can close off the curly bracket and close off the list that contains any. Now you can see no syntax error has been have been detected. So you can actually click on OK. All right. Now, now for each of the rows that do not contain alpha or beta, it's going to return false. And for each of the rows that has either alpha or beta, it's going to return true. Now we have a bunch of trues and forces so what i'm going to do is just click on this filter button and then we can check uncheck the true and that's all we need to do click ok absolutely cool so we have tightened this up we have removed the rows that contains either alpha or beta so we don't need this custom column so you can actually just remove the column and then come to the home tab want to close and load want to load to excel and let's see the final output so we actually need a table so let's drop it in the existing sheet and click ok okay so we can see that we have a clean and transform data set so this is essentially how we use the power query to filter multiple columns at once if you enjoyed this video you know, comment like share and consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers